Hello, Miguel from Google here, and today I want to show you an app that I made for my mom. My mom is an artist, she paints and she writes poems. So a while ago I thought, why don't I create an app where I can gather all her art in a single place, kind of like an online portfolio, where all our family members and her friends can see her art. Uh, see her paintings and not just read her poems, but listen to her poems. I did that with the older version of Glide, but now Glide has a new component on its new version that allows people to record audio right from the app. And this is great because one of the cool features of this app is that people can upload their own versions of my mom's poems. Most of the poems are read by my mom already, but if anybody wants to contribute their own version, they can. So it's kind of like a collaborative art project. The app has three tabs, poems, quadros, which is paintings, and info, which is info. And here there's a little bit of description of the app, and you can see there's 382 poems my mom has written, and 62 paintings. Now. You can search for any poem. Let's go to La Mirada, which means the glance, the look. And that's why there's somebody looking, obviously. Makes sense, right? By the way, a lot of these images are automatically generated with Glide's new Pexels integration. So it will look at a related image based on the title of the poem. So in this case, you can see, uh, well, the first one and the, the first three ones are uploaded by me, but for example, uh, this one, Nitida, which has nothing to do with cookies, it has a cookie image. So obviously, sometimes it's not really accurate. But Immaculado, well, there is a, the picture of a virgin, Immaculate. Uh, Corazón de Magma, uh, Magma Heart, so there's kind of like a heart thing. Uh, fuego, well, fire. So it kind of tries to do its best. Again, these are open source pictures and Pexos doesn't have uh, images for absolutely everything, but it tries to do a pretty good job. Anyway, so if I go to, uh, let's say, La Mirada and we can listen to it right now. Era la luz de su mirada, la que entendí. All right, so this is recorded by me. We also have three other recordings submitted by friends and family. We got here Terry. Reading. Era la luz de su mirada la que entendía el R. Era, era, era. All right. Nice English accent. Of course, it's hard to read in a language that you don't understand. Same thing with me when I was learning English, which still I am learning English. And here we have, uh, let's see, Cookie Monster. Era la luz de su mirada. <laughs> El aire. Okay, so that's Cookie Monster, very cute Cookie Monster, uh, my niece. <laughs> but the cool thing is that let's say that I want to rec record my own version. This is where Glide's new ability to record right from the app is going to be great for. And we can go to, for example, Pupila Fugat or something shorter like Mariposas which I've already recorded. So let me try, uh, let me try Ialino. Okay, so I just click Sube to Grabación, which is upload your recording. And then there's some instructions, just make sure that you're recording in a nice place with a nice microphone, with not a lot of background noise. And then you click record. Hola, me llamo Miguel. Okay, sorry. I click stop because what I should actually be doing is reading this, the poem itself, but you can already play it. Hola, me llamo Miguel. Okay, I click, uh, click Volver a Grabar, which means record again, and I'm going to record it for good. ¿Por qué no regalar una palabra ten... Okay, I made a mistake. Let me, let me try this again. ¿Por qué no regalar una palabra tan hermosa como Ialino al aire? All right, and now we can uh, listen to it. ¿Por qué no regalar una palabra tan hermosa como Ialino al aire. Okay, so if I like it, I can save it and this will be submitted for approval. Uh, we can also listen to the original version. ¿Por qué no regalar una palabra tan hermosa como Ialino al aire? 
All right, so you can see the actual original recordings have music and echo uh, uh, added to it. It'll be interesting to know if I could submit the MP3 file that is being recorded inside the app to some service that allow me to add some modifications like echo and optimize the sound and add music or something like that. I look into that, but right now it's just it's going to record the voice raw uh, from your microphone, which is fine. Now, if I'm logging as the administrator and I look at the, uh, the recordings, you can see that uh, these are the latest recordings. And so that's by Eckhart Tolle. Uh, but for example, I have here this one that I just recorded. Por qué no regalar una... And if it gets approved, all you have, they have to do is my mom in this case, because she gets notified every time somebody uploads a new recording, she would accept it. And then that new recording now appears here and anybody can listen to it. Now the controls only appear, like the accepting controls only appear if you're logged in as an administrator. So if I log in as Eckhart Tolle, uh, then normal users won't see the management tools, but they'll be able to listen. The new recordings. So anyway, that is a little overview of this portfolio app that I'm very happy with and it always reminds us of the great artist my mom is. And now all the family and friends can enjoy her art and contribute to it. Why not? You can check this app and upload your own recordings if you go to juliadomege.com and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.